Alright, so here's a Honda GX 248 horsepower engine I've been working on. Uh, I've got two of them. One right here and one there. Um, this one, I don't know what's what the heck's wrong with it. It's just really hard to turn over and it's probably got a scored piston or got something rusted on the inside. I don't know. Um, this one had the carburetor on it, it had a gas tank on it, and has a muffler and all that. I just took the gas tank and the carburetor and the shroud off and put it on this one. This one will crank over, and I actually got it to run. And it runs really good. For, uh, I don't know how old this is. It didn't come with a, didn't have a pull strut on either. Um, this one had a bent up shroud, so I put the one from this one on, the, on it. Uh, so, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a GX240, uh, it's got a low oil sensor, put some seafoam in the gas tank to kind of free up some of the stuff inside of the inside of the engine, so it kind of helped a little bit, but I mean, for some reason, it shoots out sparks out of the muffler, red sparks or orange sparks, I don't know what it's from, maybe there's stuff, carbon and stuff is burning out of the muffler or the engine or whatever and there's black carbon build up all over the outside of the muffler and I'll do a cold spot on this I'll put my hand on the muffler so you can see it's cold yeah it's cold so yeah it'll usually start up on one pull turn the gas on choke it it is on full throttle so Put this on the side. redneck starter is just a piece of wee whacker cable String, you know, compression stroke. This thing does have a differential on it. I forgot to mention that, so it doesn't. It's not. A, it's a short shaft with a small gearbox on the back. And this did come off a concrete mixer. Forgot to mention that. Turn it on. Runs really good. It's just that I don't know why it smokes a lot. Sometimes it shoots sparkles and I'm done. Didn't do it this time.
Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to put this on. Maybe a homemade generator, I guess, or something, because all I got is this pulley that only spins at so many RPM. It's a short shaft, so it doesn't come out much right here. So if I take this off, I have no use for the engine, so. That's pretty much it. If I'm going to use this for a go-kart, I'd have to get another whole other crank, crank, uh, crankshaft. So, yeah, it runs really good. Got it for about 15 bucks, both of them together from a junkyard. So, yeah.